Uh, morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yes, very happy we're pouring gold, and uh, unfortunately a white shirt. You might see the blood bleeding from my heart seeing the uh, share price over the last couple of weeks. We just hit this milestone and we go backwards. Anyway, we'll talk about that some more and, uh, and talk about the positives. You know, great keynote this morning where gold's heading, and as Australia's newest gold producer, you know, we think we're very well positioned for that. Um, for those of you that don't know about the Calidus story, um, we have just commissioned our Stage 1 out in the Pilbara of Western Australia. Stage 1 is 90,000 ounce per annum uh, gold mine, simple open pit, simple milling. Um, we'll put out a feasibility for Stage 2 on our high grade blue spec uh, mine that will feed into that and that will take us to 130,000 ounces per annum. Now that's due out in four to six weeks. And I'll also touch on a, a little bit of lithium. There has, I know we're at a gold conference, but there's been a surprising amount of inquiries on the lithium as well. So we'll touch on that. There we go. Um, it's not a graph you want to put up every day of your life, but uh, what a buying opportunity. I certainly um, jumped in again yesterday and it looks like we've finally maybe hit bottom and started to rise again today, thankfully. Uh, market cap, 260 million at the moment. And we've got a project, 90,000 ounce per annum initially, uh, with over a $1,000 margin, so 90 to 130 million EBITDA we'll be building up to uh, with a 260 million market cap. So certainly, you know, I do see a lot of value to be had there. Uh, Alcane is our major shareholder, just under 10%, been hugely supportive over the journey. Uh, over the last few years, they bought on market and came in through placements. Um, and board and executives, we are highly leveraged, myself in particular, um, to the success of this, and that's through cash into the company. Um, the team that we've pulled together is exceptional, both uh, in the corporate office and on site. Uh, and as Matt just said, you know, without the right people, it doesn't matter what deposit you have. Uh, and certainly, I think we've got a, a team that's over-credentialed for the size of company that we are. Uh, a lot of us have worked together in the past, and I suppose it was a, a time to come back together and, and do one from scratch. Uh, ESG, um, obviously very topical. It's, it's just something that we did from day dot, and I, I suppose it's been given a title now. Um, we do have solar farm and batteries going in. We are doing, uh, we've got cyanide destruction capabilities on site. We've got wildlife conservation zones. That's mainly for our bats. We've got in old workings. Uh, we've started upgrading the airport and marble bar with the Shire uh, to make it multi-user and do a lot of local sponsorships and contractors in the area. So what does stage one and stage two look like? Uh, and why do I boldly say $1,000 an ounce margin? Um, there's the numbers for you. So as I said, stage one, 2.4 million ton per annum, or two to 2.4, depending if we're in fresh or transitional um, size mill, uh, putting out on average 90,000 ounces um, per annum. And I'll talk a little more about costs and, and where we are with inflation shortly. Uh, and then stage two, it's similar, very similar cost but adds uh, another 30 to 40,000 ounces per annum, uh, and that's just straight free cash flow to the bottom line. Um, first gold was poured in, in May. Uh, I think our best pour so far in a week's been around 42, 43 kgs, so it's starting to really flow out, and some lovely looking gold bricks there, that's for sure. Um, bit of an overview of site. So what we've got here is what we call our pioneer mining, so our ore body actually outcrops. Uh, out of the dirt of the Pilbara, and we have our smaller fleet uh, mining away um, on this area. As it opens up and widens out, and we can get bigger kit in, that fleet will disappear. Uh, and it's a very long pit, so we've got multiple operating areas. The hill uh, in the background has now gone, and we've really opened that up, and that's where our bigger fleet is, 100 tonne and 200 tonne diggers in there with McMahon contractors. Um, and then 500 metres away, we've got our process plant. So we've got our, our ROM pad where we put our stockpiled ore uh, into various fingers depending on grades and, and qualities of that ore. And then we're into the um, plant itself. So the plant is a very typical West Australian gold plant. Uh, it's a crusher into a sag mill, gravity gold, through into um, a CIL plant and we produce gold dore or gold bars uh, out the back of that plant. Um, as it is a GR plant, you would expect it to um, have some spare capacity in, and we certainly believe it does, and I'll touch on that uh, a bit later. Uh, we did have a slight rain event before this video, that's why it's looking slightly green and luscious 
in a dry season. It's normally not like that in Marble Bar. Um, but all in all, uh, you know, there we have it, a, a proper looking mine site and a huge, um, you know, I think the people on site in particular should be, should be extremely proud of what they've achieved in just over a year in, in COVID, uh, inflationary environments and, and locked borders of, of WA. So the main questions we're getting at the moment is how are things going? And trying to put a bit more flesh on the bone um, from last week. So uh, we're, in, we're in ramp up. We're, we're getting to know the plant, getting to know the ore body. Uh, I think a couple of key points. Number one, uh, the grade control model to the resource model is reconciling 100% on grade. That is your single biggest risk as a startup, as a gold miner. So we're very happy what we're seeing in grade control drilling. That's 10 by 7 metres, so very intense drilling. That defines the ore body for us to mine. So that's fantastic. And we've drilled around 8% of the ore body. Um, we've been ramping up the mill slowly. We're about 2.3 million tonnes per annum out of that 2.4 million tonne per annum at the moment. Uh, and we intend, we believe we'll be at steady state in about four to six weeks. We've just got to get another water pipeline back from the Tails Dam um, to balance out our water and then we'll be running at 2.4 million tonnes per annum. Um, we are stress testing the plant to see what it can do and we think there's a good 10 to 20% uh, extra capacity in that plant which will obviously look at um, harnessing uh, as we ramp up the mining. Um, talking of the mining, so McMahon's are our contractor. Uh, we've suffered like everyone else with labour um, and just people filling seats. Um, pleased to say that uh, there's a couple of crews mobilising from a contract that's winding down with McMahon's and their digger to us in the next four to six weeks. Um, so we'll be getting up to three diggers there instead of the two from the contract. That will help us catch up for that um, slightly delayed start uh, and help us build those stockpiles and help us feed that mill and, and try and push it beyond that 2.4 million tonne per annum uh, during the rest of this year. Give you a feel on ounces out. So in the last couple of weeks of May, 3,300 ounces poured, which, you know, eight, eight and a half million dollars worth of gold. It's not a bad number in a couple of weeks. So those gold bars really are flowing, as Kerry said, uh, and a wonderful thing to behold. Uh, inflation, we heard about that from the keynote as well. Um, it is there, it is real uh, in the mining industry in WA. Uh, so if we look at our major inflationary costs, diesel is number one. For the open pit mining fleet, that adds about $70 Australian an ounce. Um, Labor, probably next at around $50 an ounce. Reagents and, and odds and sods, you know, another $20, $30 an ounce. So we're saying that $1,300 an ounce um, from the DF DFS is probably more like $1,450 to $1,500 Aussie an ounce. Um, current spot, $2,630. So uh, between our hedge and spot, you know, we're still receiving over $1,000 an ounce margin. Um, so a highly profitable business and certainly one, you know, based on some of the predictions we've heard in the last couple of days on where gold could head, uh, is a great time to be, to be starting production. Hedge, uh, we have hedged for our debt. Um, over the three years of debt repayments, uh, we've got about 40% of our production hedged at 2368 an ounce. It's an insurance policy like you'd take out for your car or house, an absolute must to go with your debt. Um, but we also did a, a discretionary hedge of 20,000 ounces for the rest of this year at 2688 Aussie an ounce. Um, so 50 bucks above spot at the moment, and we're selling into that at the moment. Just helps with that cash flow during startup. Stage two. Um, so stage two is blue spec. It's high grade mine about 75 kilometres away from Warrawoona. It was mined by Anglo in the 70s for a while, very good reconciliation on the gold that they produced, uh, and it's sat idle since then. We are due to release a feasibility, as I said, in four to six weeks on that. Um, the MET test work on that has gone very well. Uh, we're just getting all the costs in. Obviously, there will be some cost inflation for what we've put out previously, but it was a small capex of 28 million for a plant and the underground. Um, so we would expect that to be closer to 40 million, give or take. Um, both deposits open at depth, 16 grams a tonne, um, you know, so super, super high grade, uh, and we do see a lot of life uh, at Blue Spec. Um, we announced some drilling at Blue Spec East recently, um, got some intercepts of over 50 metres at 1.4 grams up near surface. Um, that's not in a resource any of Blue Spec East, so we'll do some more drilling out there, and we certainly think we'll add a, a lot of ounces at Blue Spec 
um, itself, but also to the west. Um, we've been doing some stream sediment samples eight kilometers or over eight kilometers to the west of Blue Speck, and um, we're now doing detailed soils, seeing some really interesting geology. Uh, there's been no drilling out there ever, so we're hoping if we can find one of these 16 grammars from surface, uh, you know, that's a fantastic result and would add enormously to cash flow for us. Um, mine life, eight years at the moment, so where do we go from there? Out to the east, we're still open. Uh, we've got some interesting hits out there in the past, but as a junior with limited cash before production, we put drilling on hold and said our cash was better spent getting us into production. So we will drill to the east to add more open pit. We are open at depth. Our underground only goes down 250 metres at Klondike. I was planned to go down 250 metres. We've got drill holes down 500 metres with good mineralisation. Um, we just want to get into the ore body a bit more, understand the geometry of the chutes, uh, put an underground exploration decline in and we'll start to add life, uh, especially underground in the future, I believe. Um, tenement holding, we are the dominant player around us. We, we've got other areas up near Marble Bar. Uh, we've announced some recent drilling, two metres at eight, two metres at six, just near surface, so high grade there. And we are talking with um, other pe players in the area about satellite deposits. Haven't seen drilling since the 50s and 60s, some extraordinary results back in those days um, that we'd love to, to get hold of and had a crack at. Uh, and certainly as the only mill in that area, um, we see that as a huge advantage for us heading forward. Um, not only potentially adding mine life, but potentially adding ounces per annum through higher grades. All right, three minutes to morning tea. I'm not gonna hold you any longer than that. Uh, I know we're all a bit peckish. So just very briefly touching on lithium. Um, this was just an opportunistic play. Uh, we pegged a lot of tenements for mainly water um, for the mine. Saw other people chipping lithium around and went, well, it's crazy if we don't do something. Had a look at our tenements, had a look at some of our neighbors. Um, Hayoma Mining uh, also had some very interesting tenements. So we said, why don't we uh, put these together and get critical mass out there and, and start exploring. So that's what we've done. We formed a new company. We each own that company 50%. Um, we put our lithium rights in and we started exploring a few months ago. The pink that you see there on, on the plan, um, that's the Split Rock Super Suite. That's the engine room of lithium in the Pilbara. That's where all the, the lithium comes out of and you want to be on the margins of that area. So. Obviously one of the main areas is the Spear Hill project we targeted, that was Wright Rocks. It's an old tin tantalum mining area, which is where most of your other lithium mines are. So we said, let's start off there with our exploration. And um, lo and behold, we're a couple of months in, we've got over four kilometers of strike of lithium pegmatites already, um, mainly lapidolite. Uh, there's two types of, of lithium, lapidolite and spodumene. Spodumene's well known in the Aussie market but lipidolite is also mined and processed around the world into carbonate and hydroxide. We're trying to hone in on where the spodumene is, where the stack um, loads are. It is incredibly early days. We've only explored six square kilometres of a thousand square kilometres of tenure. Um, and very excited by what we're seeing because we obviously have lithium. It is fertile. What we've got to do now is target in uh, on those areas where we'll see those stacked, stacked pegmatite um, swarms. That's what it looks like in the field. So when you, you come up to it and stumble across it, even me as a simple mining engineer can see it. It's actually purpley green sparkling and um, yeah, it looks pretty amazing. And you do wonder, especially this, this crosses what's called the main marble bar hillside road. It's been graded for over 70 years and it actually outcrops in the middle of that road, but no one's actually noticed it before. So there you go. Aren't we all good explorers in WA? Um, so, in summary, ladies and gentlemen, very simple story. Ramp up's going very well. Over the next few months, we'll be really hitting our straps. Good grade reconciliation, bankable out for stage two, heading for that 130,000 ounces per annum and on current gold price, over 100 million EBITDA per annum on a 260 mil market cap. Um, we've got a lot of drilling going on with uh, both exploration regionally and locally that we'll be looking at. There's obviously the lithium side, there's the satellite deposits. Um, so there's a, a lot to, uh, to look forward to in the coming six months. Uh, and if you've got any queries, be more than happy to answer them. And a final thing for Keith, good in the audience I see, ladies and gentlemen, 
courtesy of ABC, I have the first press here today of our gold coin. If you want to come and have a look, uh, they are live on our website. You can order 2,750 Aussie an ounce, which is an absolute bargain. Is Thank that you. my present? No. <laughs> Surely. Should, should I let him off the stage, ladies and gentlemen? I do want to have a look. <laughs> it looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks so much. <laughs> awesome. No, it's well done. Congratulations. Please thank Dave.